Hi, I'm Margaret Hamburger and I'm with Solaris Product Marketing. I'm here today with Dean Rorick. Dean is a Solaris engineer focused on the SAM QFS project. Dean, tell me why a user would use a shared file system like QFS over NFS. With a shared file system like QFS, you have clients with direct attachment to storage. You have clients that are cache coherent. So not only do you have uh, clients running at, at, uh, at fiber speed, for example, and fiber channel, but you also have, um, say, one client doing a write, another client doing a read of that same part. QFS will keep the cache coherent between the two machines, and then you'll, the reader will see what was written by the writer. With NFS, you won't necessarily have that until the NFS client uh, that did the write actually flushed everything out. Or the NFS client that's doing the read, well, what if he'd already done a read of that section of the file? NFS won't tell him, oh, you're, that section is stale, go reread. QFS and products like that, cache coherent file systems, will do that. Uh, QFS has a lease append mechanism. Um, can you talk to that and why um, some level of locking to cache coherency is, is uh, important? With lease append, the, the issue is knowing who owns the size of the file. And so when we have a machine doing an append, we have to be aware of that. We have to be aware of um, a size update. We have to know that it came from the guy who owns it. So, Dean, um, um, uh, QFS has uh, native clients in its architecture. Those can be Solaris and a variety of flavors of Linux. Um, you worked on the Linux uh, client development. Can you talk to uh, why a shared file system needs native clients in its architecture? You want, you want your your Linux client to run uh, native QFS uh, software because QFS allows clients to have direct attached to storage, which means that uh, clients could actually do I.O. at channel speed, for example. Well, if your client is going to be touching the, the, the data, the file system that QFS is managing, it has to participate in the lease protocol with all of the other machines that are accessing that data. And this is how we allow uh, two machines to access the same file without corrupting it, or the same file system without corrupting a directory or super block. So if you have the Linux nodes, you want them running at, at channel speed, or what you're getting when you run your Solaris nodes, you'll have to run native uh, shared QFS software on there. Uh, then it participates in lease protocol. We can control cache coherency across machines, make sure that everybody sees what was written, when it was written, and uh, it, it pulls things together nicely. Thank you.